Hello, this is Sister Green, and today is December the 12th, at 1.05 p.m. right now. And uh, here are my uh, prismatic uh, lithium phosphate battery cells right here. I got eight, have eight of them, 24 volts. And right now, I need to make a bus bar to go across these two, like these here. Make it out of this piece of copper right here. Just cut it and drill some holes in it. And then attach it right there across to see right here. They're, about, they're the same thickness and height and stuff. The same thickness. All I just need to do is just kind of take one of the bars off the battery and measure on this copper bar right here and cut and drill the holes so I can put it right here take this wire off as you can see and I also bought this uh, balance of meter right here so I can measure the voltage of each cell I can see it on the display as you see it right here on, on this box right here Here's the meter right there, and then here's the meter, as you can see. Take USB, in and out, and it's the, for, I guess, the, the power the unit, and these for to connecting to the cells, though. But I think uh, when I connect these to the cells, you're going to always get half power, so I might not need nothing else, though. It should show up like you see here. Alright, I also got a pack of these leads right here, that's in case I get in the future, balance lead uh, meters right here, whenever I do buy some more cells like these though, I can probably buy some more of these though, or I could just use one for, for 16 of them though, and I also bought this BMS right here, this is for 24 volt. This is a, from uh, Daily Electronics right here. It's a 24 volt, 100 amp, 7S balance charger, all right. I needed this, it got eight leads on it. But these ring terminals right here, I put on, so I can attach it on the battery. Each uh, bus bar, and on all the fashion, started with the black one to connect here. And then the, all the rest of the reds go to each bus bar in normal fashion from from two to eight, you know. As you can see, these are the ones that came with the battery. These are 12 volt, 4S, 100 amp hours. It's the electronic BMS. So, so I went on and got this. One right here, this is a BMS for 24 volt. This is what I need it. I can also buy some more if I need it, if, if possible, you know. So, I got all these. I can put on the ends of these leads from this balance meter right here. So I can attach them to the each terminal along with the BMS uh, balancer right here. All right, I'm gonna take this bus bar off so I can measure on the copper bar how much I need. But be careful how you, you take these off and not to let this part touch this side, and you're gonna get dangerous short and everything. So here we go. I'll take this off. There you go. It's the bus bar. Extra bus bar needs to make to hook right here and take this wire off. So I put it right here. I'll take one marker. Make sure it is kind of even. As you can see, I'm doing this with one hand, you know, so. Bear with me. And I'm going to cross right there. And 
guess they're doing. <laughs> Cut it off and make the holes. I'm finna cut it with my uh, angle grinder right here with the cutting metal cutting wheel on here, as you can see. And notice I got the holes marked out. And here's the bus bar beside it. Is how it's gonna be like. So it's gonna be loud. So, so here we go. Put on this, and here we go. Drill the holes. All right, here we go. My foot on it. Drill the first hole. Drilling the holes, and uh, I got them messed up side by side. One kind of little off. Maybe this hole. I'm gonna put this on top of it. Then they they match exactly. It might look crooked on the battery, but yeah, I think it'll work. I'm gonna have to uh, smooth these edges off right here. These sharp edges and put on the batter. So I'm gonna get ready to try this on there. Yeah, I might have to put wrap some tape around here. Make it look more like these here, as you can see. Let's see if they fit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Screw this in. Going all right. All right, got the bus bar on now. Looks all right, I put some electrical tape around the middle like I got the others right here. The shrink wrap, all that, to insulate it. Or I might just go and make another one to get it more straighter, you know. I think this is going to work all right, as you can see. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm adding to make it long enough to reach all the terminals on the uh, prismatic cells. I'm going to solder these ends, as you can see right here. It's the same kind of gauge wire that's on. And that's like these wires here. And wrap each one with, the, with tape. And I'm going to solder them and wrap them with uh, electrical tape, as you can see. And then I'm using these old phone line that I had around the house I mostly need the red and black all right I got all the ends extended ends soldered as you can see all the way from the negative all to all the pluses across and that plugs into this balance of meter all right now from the wrapper with electrical tape and then I'ma uh, all these ends here I'm gonna I'm put the uh, wire connector lugs on it on all of them and then hook it up to the battery to operate this all right all right I got all the exposed ends that's connecting to the red wire from the colored wire in between uh, wrapped up to protect each connection and now I'm finna get ready to put the ring terminals on each end of these and then and put them on the battery to uh, show each cell voltage differences all right and probably balance them all right I have the meter set up right now I got the uh, plus hook right here to this 
clip uh, wire right here. I touch it right there. And I got the minus hooked to the black, as you can see right here, to this black wire right there. Go to the meter, as you can see. And this wire here, this clip wire goes to one of the cells. It's going to be a monitor hooked to this wire, as you can see. And the instructions, as you can see in this diagram. That's how I have them wired up. Let's demonstrate. I got this hooked up to the negative. Got this hooked up to the positive. I'm gonna touch it on the battery and the meter should turn on. Here we go. Right now, showing on the meter is is working. It's it's on and working, as you can see. Now, if I could do some tweaking on these buttons right here to set it, I'm gonna try one of these cells and see what I got. Touch it right there. It is showing on now. Three point five volts on one of the cells. All right, it is working. So let me get through with this. All right, from the beginning, uh, crimping these on each end of these eight wires and get it on, so I can connect it on the, on the terminals on the lithium iron, phosphate, prismatic batteries, as you can see here, in the normally oily fashion. All right, and here's the bus bar I just made right there, so I can connect all eight together as you can see for 24 volts First wire going to negative. Make sure you disconnect this from the meter, just in case something might happen and you know you don't want to destroy your meter. So let's go. Last but least. There we go, tighten them up. It's my meter. Plug it in. Oh man, there it is. It's working. As you can see, it's showing all the voltages of each cell in the battery bank, in my lithium battery bank. Oh man, they do need balancing. So what I think it, it, it's doing right now is balancing the battery. As you can see, the voltage is kind of varying and stuff. Oh man, this is a good deal. The sales voltage. 
the oily fashion. Seven to three minute volts. The whole pack is 26.98 volts, about 27 volts. This whole eight pack. So right now, as you can see right now, the batteries are balancing themselves right now through this meter. As you can see, it's gonna take a while for it to do that. So this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. Make time. This is how you turn it on to check the voltage of each cell, you know, notice the ones that's in dark right there, those the one that need coming up and the ones in red seems to be okay, all right? You can set your this meter function to uh to set each perimeter of what you want this, the limitations of what you want, how you want the the batteries to balance and all that and, and how much and you want each cell to charge up usually up to about 26 volts each though the minimum is the maximum the maximum is uh 3.62 volts though but the minimum is 3.2 volts though so i push this button it says cell balance will stop. I said, well, no, go up. Here's which uh, start charge. Okay, uh, low voltage setting. Then I push this. I got it set to 3.3 volts, though. I can go a little less if I want to. I think I tried there. Battery type. I can, I can check each one that I want. This is lipo. Lipo. It's this one here. Okay. Let's repeat. What's this mean? A single. I just set it for single. All right. Go down. I can cell balance. Here's the percentages shown right here of each cell. One is longer than the other. I guess all the way over means that they are pretty balanced or even, you know, among all of them. It's doing well. This is my first time ever working with these and I plan to uh, buy some more of these prismatic cells as you can see on the battery right there and you know they're quite expensive though so uh, if I get like three to this is one set 24 two three four if I get like three more sets then I'll be fine I'll probably be ready to start changing out these lead acid batteries right here and in my battery box right here I keep four of the good uh, lead acid batteries and I have found a way to string all of them on the wall and this probably be removed and uh, have it uh, wired up to go through the switch, you know, and charge up the batteries from the inverter or from the solar or wind, you know, as you can see. So thanks everybody for watching and y'all take care. Sayonara.